What has Ahsoka Tano become after Star Wars Rebels? I discuss this and more, but first I want to say I'm Mike and welcome back to Star Wars Speculation where we love the anticipation and speculation that leads up to Star Wars releases. But back on track here. If we really want to know what Ahsoka has become after Star Wars Rebels Season 4, we need to start by looking at how she's changed during the Star Wars Rebels epilogue. We know during the Rebels epilogue she looks far more powerful now. And what does that mean? Well, as a Force user, if she has become more powerful, then it is most likely because she is able to listen to the Force. Dave Filoni has mentioned in the past during an interview with the Forcecast podcast that Qui-Gon was able to listen to the will of the Force. This connection to the Force is why he is able to become a Force ghost without any formal training. So despite the fact that Ahsoka isn't a Jedi anymore, I believe she has learned to listen to the Force as well just like Qui-Gon. But how did this happen? And could she listen to the Force during Rebels? I don't think she could listen to the will of the Force during Rebels. This is because Ahsoka had great guilt and despair about walking away from the Jedi Order, and even more so leaving her master Anakin Skywalker. After her fight with Darth Vader, she knows that Anakin was the one that made the choice to become Vader, that she cannot save him, and in knowing this, I believe she is able to release the guilt and despair that she was holding on to. Releasing that guilt is what allows her to become more at peace as a Force user, and since she is more at peace, it is easier for her to listen to the will of the Force. But what would the will of the Force be? Well, it wants Luke Skywalker to turn his father back to the light side, just as was prophesied, and bring balance to the Force. An interesting question is, does Ahsoka know that Luke will be the one to redeem his father? She could have seen this play out if she returned to the world between worlds, maybe she had a Force vision, or maybe again she is able to now listen to the Force and comes to the realization that this isn't her fight, that maybe she's not supposed to be alive at this point in the timeline, and that she could throw off the series of events that unfold in The Return of the Jedi. And this is why she exiles herself, or at least goes into deep study on the Force. Although, as longtime supporter of the channel The Medieval Man 9 once commented, Ahsoka is a character of action, so it's hard to see her sitting and meditating for years at a time. So then what was she doing? I like the idea far more that she was infiltrating Imperial space and finding Emperor Palpatine's Jedi relics. Maybe she even goes to the observatory on Pilio we've seen in Battlefront 2. This would explain the staff she has. It wouldn't be hard for her to use the, her Jedi mind tricks to influence any stormtroopers on guard at these locations. Plus, the vast amount of Jedi relics that the Emperor had collected would mean that he may never notice that Ahsoka was actually taking some of them. This also explains why she was wearing the cloak during the Rebels epilogue. She's been hiding her identity and infiltrating these different locations. So then, what exactly does Ahsoka become at this point? Is she still a Jedi? No, I don't think she is still a Jedi in the sense of the Clone Era's Jedi. Through listening to the Force and discovering these new relics, she's moved on to become far more like the Prime Jedi, finding balance between the light and the dark side. And by listening to the Force, she knows if she can find Ezra, she'll be able to train him to become a truly balanced Force user as well. And together, they will be able to create a new Jedi Order. Well, I hope you enjoyed looking back at Ahsoka, and please consider answering the question of the day, which is why didn't Ahsoka train Luke Skywalker instead of searching for Ezra? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching Star Wars Speculation, and may the Force be with you.